Hi guys, Steady Eddie here. Just a brief little video to say hello to everyone. I haven't posted on this channel for a while, uh, simply because my travels are o over for the time being, and uh, I suppose I've run out of videos. Uh, but I'm still being active on YouTube. I've been posting regularly on the Steady Eddie Live channel, uh, which is a great little community. We're currently doing about three times a week on that one. We talk about a variety of subjects. Uh, travel is just one of them, but we talk about other things as well. And uh, it's a great little community. So the link for that channel is on the homepage of this channel, under my other channels, Steady Eddie Live. If you want to check that one out, you're more than welcome to do so. So I keep getting asked in the comments section, when am I traveling next, whether it's to Southeast Asia or, or anywhere. Well, I've been back uh, a couple of months on, by now I've usually booked something, but I haven't got anything planned at this moment in time. Well, I suppose the summer is here in the UK, so it's quite nice and, you know, I can catch up on a few things and, and, and all of that. But to be honest with you, to be perfectly honest with you, Right now, at this moment in time, I don't really feel very, very enthusiastic about travel. Maybe it's just one of those phases I'm going through, but it happens now and again. You know, I'm, I'm 61 years of age, and I've travelled to a lot of places. Not, not everywhere, but I've travelled to just about all the places I always wanted to travel to. I've seen a lot of places. Uh, I've seen a, quite a lot of Southeast Asia. I've spent a lot, spent a lot of time in Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, do, those countries, uh, spe especially. And to be honest with you, you know, I don't really feel very, very enthusiastic about travel at this moment in time. Well, I must admit, I'd feel a lot more enthusiastic about travelling if I hadn't been there so, so much. I've been to Southeast Asia quite a lot. I spent a lot of time in Thailand, Cambodia, uh, Vietnam, great countries. But, you know, it's a case of, you know, I've, I've spent so much time, but, you know, where to go next? And also, I would feel a lot more enthusiastic about travelling at this moment in time if it wasn't so expensive. Now... You know, some of you may be surprised at that, at that bit. Uh, I'm sure there's still some people out there who think that Thailand is dirt cheap. Um, well, don't believe what your BS friends tell you. Um, Thailand is, is no longer the great value it once was. And if you really, really want to enjoy yourself in that country, uh, or even, even the neighbouring countries for that matter, you will end up spending a lot of money. Also, I'm thinking... Where is there left to go in these countries that I'm quite familiar with? Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand. Um, you know, I've, I've been to so much of this country. That I've been, been to all the major cities and tourist towns and, and whatever in, in these countries. And as for the islands, I've been to just about all of the main Thai islands. And they're wonderful. I love, I love tropical islands. Who doesn't? Islands are absolutely wonderful. Um, but... You know, how many beaches can you walk along? Uh, you know, how, how many mosquitoes can you swat? How many bamboo huts can you stay in? Uh, you know, so after a while, all islands tend to look the same. Very, very beautiful, some of them. But um, they do tend to look very, very, you know, same old, same old after a while. It's also worth pointing out that if you go to tropical islands in the rainy season, which is, which is now, this is the month of June right now, if, if a lot of the businesses in, in those tropical islands are probably closed, being out of season. And also, remember, when you're on an island, if it rains, there's not a great deal else to do. In a city like Bangkok uh, or Saigon, if it rains, there's still plenty to do in places like that. But in an, island, in an island, really, there's not a great deal to do at all if you can't use the beach. So it's worth bearing that one in mind as well. I mentioned at the start of this video the old saying, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Uh, yeah, that is, that is uh, often very, very true, that saying. And I'm not the only one who, who, who feels a little bit unenthusiastic about Thailand at this moment in time. I'm seeing vlogs, uh, you know, YouTube videos and live streams where the vloggers don't seem to be brimming with the old enthusiasm about Thailand that they used to have. It's quite often I'm seeing these guys, it seems to be more a case of, 
what the hell am I doing here, uh, rather than being enthusiastic about the place. Uh, you know, there is definitely a, an air of negativity uh, about uh, Thailand, especially at this moment in time. So why would anyone not feel enthusiastic about going to Thailand? After all, if you look at some YouTube videos, Thailand often uh, tops or comes close to the top of the best countries in the world to, uh, to visit. You must have seen some of those videos. I've seen quite a lot of them. Uh, the 10 best countries in the world that you must visit before you die. Uh, a lot of these videos seem to be made by people who probably haven't been there. They use a lot of stock footage, so they don't really have a hands-on experience about a lot of these countries. That's the way it seems to me. But I've seen rather a lot of those videos. I've seen one the other day, and yes, Thailand is the, the number one, the numero uno, the best country in the world that you have to visit. Uh, so why would someone uh, you know, who's been there quite a lot not really feel so enthusiastic about it? Well, I've got to say, in the last five years or so, I've heard more negativity about Thailand than ever before. For many years, no one had a bad word to say about that great country. Land of smiles, dirt cheap, lovely place, all the rest of what you heard. But in recent years, a lot of that has been replaced by cries of too expensive, not as cheap as it was, too many rules with visas and stuff. And worse... I heard someone the other day calling it a scam country. As for the wonderfully friendly Thai people, well, travellers can be quite negative about them these days, saying that they are not as friendly as they used to be and just want your money. So let's get to the nitty gritty. The reason a lot of men visit Thailand is that it has a reputation of being a hotspot for meeting women. But are the women in Thailand as good as they were? Well, I think many have already commented on this, but the simple answer is no. Since the pandemic, there has been a shortage of hot ladies in Thailand, and the ones there are commanding a high price. I mean, come on, let's get real here. If you want to have fun with the ladies in Thailand these days, you've got to have deep pockets. Look at the bar fines, lady drinks, and all the other expenses that go with getting a girl for the night. Gone are the days when the average Joe will see a hot go-go dancer, and before you know it, she's back in your hotel room doing the wild thing with you. Nowadays, there are so many guys who consider these girls unaffordable. Similar in neighbouring countries. And of course, it's not just the women that are commanding a high price. Look at the flights. The flights have never, ever been so expensive. I mean, they're ridiculous, uh, yeah, you know, air airfares. And this is all at a time when, you know, the cost of living is, is, is not getting any, any healthier. There's probably a looming recession everywhere. Um, really, to put it bluntly, Thailand is no longer a cheap place to visit. I must admit, it's not just the cost of travel that uh, really makes me feel unenthusiastic. It's also the actual travel itself. Yeah, you know, I've done so many aeroplane journeys over, over the year, years. I have no fear of flying. It's just that it's such a long process. It's not just a flight, of course. It's getting to the airport and hanging around and all, all of this kind of stuff. I mean, between, you know, a home in, in, in England and actually arriving at my hotel in, in Thailand, you can easily be looking at 26, 28 hours uh, door to door. That's a hell of a lot of travel and it kind of wears you down after a while. I and mean, you had the price, the cost of traveling to all of that. I don't really... For, uh, want to spend you know a large amount of money doing something that I don't really enjoy. Uh, if you don't understand, uh, I must admit I would be a lot more enthusiastic if it wasn't uh, so expensive. You know, to, to fly to Thailand. Um, in the past, I have I have booked a flight to to Bangkok simply because I've seen a flight that's so irresistibly cheap. I just couldn't uh, resist bo booking it. But gone are those days. There's no cheap fly flights around uh, uh, these days anymore, and it doesn't look like it's it's getting any better value anytime soon. So, do I sound like I'm making excuses or something for not travelling? No, there's no excuses. I suppose I've just become a bit lethargic, or lazy if you, if you, if you prefer. Remember, getting on and off buses and boats and whatever doesn't get any easier when you get older. Travel can be quite demanding at times. 
I've heard before about travel holics who fill their passport and then all of a sudden realise they've been to all the places and they don't want to travel anymore. My passport is about to run out and it's just as well because there's not a lot of room left in those pages to stamp anything on. I somehow think my next passport will not be as lively. Don't get me wrong, I'm not through with travelling. I'm not, you know, uh, you know, resigning from travelling just yet. I'll be back in Southeast Asia. It's just that at this moment in time, I'm not really that enthusiastic about it. Uh, maybe, you know, I suffered a harsh winter this year. Maybe that, that'll, that'll be enough to put me on an aeroplane again. Um, sometimes when I talk to people who are planning uh, travelling, you know, I was talking to a guy who was, tra- who was uh, planning on going round India pretty soon and other places. All of a sudden, the spark of the old enthusiasm comes back. And uh, I will have another big adventure, but you've got to be enthusiastic about it. If you, you know, travel is not uh, cheap anymore. And really, it's, uh, if you're going to spend all of that money, then you've, you should feel really, really, really enthusiastic about it. And right now, at this moment in time, I don't really feel enthusiastic but it will return. The old Steady Eddie travel uh, show will, will return uh, in the long run. Okay, so anyway, in the meantime, I'll say thanks for watching. Um, thanks for your support, guys. Have a great day, a great evening, and uh, sorry if I've uh, you know, you know, depressed you all a little, a, little, a little bit, but I'm only human. We're all only human at the end of the day, okay? Listen, guys, thanks once again. I'll see you soon. Cheers.